30 years ago, my father and my husband, my father bought the business. Him and my husband are business partners. So I've only been here maybe 20 years. My father's retired. So now it's just me and my husband. Some of the customers that we've had, honestly, we've, I've had for 20 years. I've seen them grow up, get married, have children. I know what they drink, what they smoke, what kind of gas they get. You know, I know about their family. You know, you, you create a bond with them. You know, and I, I love that. That's why I don't mind being here as much as I am. Probably not being able to live up to my father's expectations. You know, because he was kind of a hard taskmaster. So, you know, in the beginning, I kind of felt like you know, whatever I did, because we work differently. You know, he's from a different era than I'm from. So his style of management was totally different from mine and how I did things, you know. So that was probably one of the biggest fears, not, you know, just kind of thinking that whatever I did just wasn't good enough for him. But even now, I've since passed that, you know. Because, you know, you're not going to be able to please everybody. And you have, to, you have to function however it's comfortable for you. So right now, that's what, I, that's what I do. You know, even though a lot of things that he's taught me have definitely come to pass, but I just kind of do things in a different manner. You know, I mean, we had to stay open. It was, it was not a choice. You know, because the bills go on, nothing stops. I had to lay some of the employees off, and then I had to be here, me and my husband. We just kind of do what we have to do, or did what we had to do to keep things, you know, to keep the doors open, keep the bills paid, and keep things moving. My husband is, is a definite saver, you know. He's, his, his train of thought is need versus want. So, you know, he's always saying you have to put something away for a rainy day because you're going to have them, you know. So luckily we had done that or have been doing that over the years. So it wasn't, you know, it was a hit, but it was a hit that we could deal with. As Ms. Myrtle comes to check, you know, to make sure that everything's all right. Eric, the police officer, comes and checks to make sure that everything's all right. If he doesn't come in, he will drive by. I mean, you know, some of the customers I don't know by name because, you know, I'm not good with the names and I just see so many of them, you know, but they come, you know, they come to just make sure everything's all right, how's the family doing, things like that. So, and they did that during the, you know, during the pandemic. And they're still doing it. Good morning. So, you know, I really, truly feel blessed. Seriously. I truly feel blessed. So my mother would be proud. <laughs>